Hello, today is Tuesday, June the 25th, 2019, and we are so blessed. Uh, Deacon Aaron and I, my name is Father Howard Giles at Jesus the Good Shepherd in Henderson, Nevada, to have Bishop Eric Manise here with us. It's a blessing to have you here with us, Bishop. Right. The blessing is mine. We've had a great visit together. Amen. I really appreciate you giving the time to us. Oh, and I love spending time with you and your family and talking about the Lord and seeing how the church has lived out. Very good. When uh, when were you consecrated? What was the date of your consecration? September 24th, 2011. Okay. So coming up on eight years. Yes, it'll be my eighth anniversary. Okay. The when uh, the first time I met you was um, at Ridgecrest, at St. Michael's Ridgecrest, when you were doing the, the walkabout with the other candidates uh, in preparation for the election. And we had all of you stand up in front of us there at St. Michael's and we asked the same questions of all of the, the candidates. And um, one of the things that stood out to me about you was um, your love for the uh, offices mm -hmm. and saying the offices. Um, and you just had a very, um, a very good description, I thought, of your practice of saying morning prayer and, and evening prayer. So can you tell us a little bit about that? What, what your habits are there? Well, it, it really was ingrained in me. When I was 17, I um, went to college, and I got an apartment with a buddy of mine that was maybe five blocks from um, All Saints Church in Long Beach. And on my first Sunday there, I asked if anyone knew of somebody hiring college students. And Father Bill Thompson said, well, we're looking for a sexton. Are you interested in being a sexton? And I said, I, I'm absolutely interested. What's a sexton? <laughs> you know, and so I had to learn that it was about being the caretaker, you mm -hmm. know, the janitor for the facility. And they had daily morning, evening prayer and Eucharist mm -hmm. at, at All Saints. And, you know, obviously I'd heard about the offices. I'd never said them myself. Mm -hmm. um, I'd never really been encouraged in, um, prior to that. But this was a church that, that loved word and sacrament and loved the discipline of worshiping together. And so uh, I began just saying, well, I'll go, you know, early and I'll be there for morning prayer and began to really fall in love with the rhythm of it, the prayers and really thinking, my mind was, was really expanded to think people all over the world mm -hmm. are reading these same prayers mm -hmm. in their own language mm -hmm. and having these scriptures or, or similar scriptures read mm -hmm. and that I'm not by myself mm -hmm. you know and there were times in their little in the little chapel there I soon I soon became a lay reader and you know mm -hmm. got very involved um, and began leading the services uh, often and there were a few times where I was all by myself but I knew I'm not by myself Mm -hmm. You know, that even though across different time zones, people are saying these. And uh, within a year of arriving there, uh, Father Bob Woodfield was a Third Order Franciscan. Mm -hmm. And he introduced me to the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. And uh, the concept of a rule of life, which was brand new to me. And that... That really resonated with me. Mm -hmm. I'm a person who likes structure and mm -hmm. likes routine. Mm -hmm. I think everybody. Yeah, I think it's our natural. Like it, but it's our we natural benefit. inclination, right? We benefit from it, yeah. And um, so, you know, he already said, "Look at, you know, morning and evening prayer is already part of your your life here anyway." Because I was going, even when I wasn't working, and um, that became just a part of of me, so that starting my day with prayer and finishing my day with prayer became so important. Soon I added a Compline with mm -hmm. that. For the people that don't know Compline, that's 9 p.m. Is that the, the time or just the after dinner before bed? Uh, yeah, just, yeah, after dinner before bed. Generally, it's the last thing I do at night. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Florence and I have a routine. We watch the first 15 to 20 minutes of the 10 o'clock news and um, partly because we want to know what's going on partly because we want to know how to pray mm -hmm. for things in our community mm -hmm. 
and um, then we spend the next 15 minutes in Compline. And so you're doing that together as a couple? We do it, then. yeah. And, and once we got married, um, so, you know, eight, nine years later after going to All Saints, I met and fell in love with Florence, and we married. Um, it was a part of my life already. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting for me because um, she would say, oh, no, no, go off and do it. That's your, your alone time. But then she said, I feel so lonely when you're here and I'm not included in that. And I said, well, come and join me. Um, and we actually switched. At the time I was doing them in English, we switched and did it in Spanish. Oh, very good. And um, Now this is, this is morning prayer? Morning prayer and evening prayer. So you're doing morning prayer, evening prayer, and Compline. Yes, we well we added Compline maybe really about the time that that we had kids because often evening prayer would get interrupted with different activities for the children and so we wanted to make sure that we closed our night with prayer. It also offers an interesting thing that I like is that because reconciliation is a part of each one of those mm -hmm. services. Um, that it was a way so for conf confession <laughs> and absolution. Yeah, that Compline offers a, a chance um, for us to seek reconciliation if we've hurt one another mm. um, in in a in a lovely way. Because I, you know, as we're saying our, our things, our prayers, and I can see, you know, I realize I, I may have hurt you when I said this, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm really sorry. And it mm -hmm. allows us to get things spoken that mm -hmm. might not have been spoken. Mm -hmm. and, and if you're not sorry? Uh, well, then I don't mention it because I didn't... If I'm not sorry, I don't even know it. It's when the Holy Spirit convicts me that I'm aware of those things. I'm sorry, you were talking about something serious and I, oh. I made a joke about it. No. <coughs> I, I, like, I wanted to, to stop you there, though, because um, you said something about just very dear to my heart, which is you want to do evening prayer, you want to do morning prayer, and then life happens... Uh, and uh, so I like that you were able to, instead of saying, oh, I can't do it, life is too busy, it's too hectic, you found a time when you could do it. And of course, Compline's a much shorter service, so you're saying, okay, this is the time that I've got, this is when I can do it. So rather than just giving up or feeling defeated or, um, you know, you, you, you overcame that and find a, a time that you could. And that was kind of, my other question was, as the bishop, you're doing so much more traveling now. Your life is so much more kind of spread out. And how is your how is your daily practice changed? I mean, what what are the things that you've that you've been trying lately so that you can get in your um, your morning prayer and evening prayer? What are some of the, the it, those well, kinds of it changes? It will generally be the the same. Um, in that, I get up and after my morning ablutions, I will sit down to say the office. During the summer, I love during the summer and when I'm home because Florence and I say it together again. Because mm -hmm. um, she's not rushing off to work. Because she's not rushing off to work. And normally, uh, during the year, we can do evening prayer together because mm -hmm. our schedules, we, well, we make a point of saying, okay, we're both going to be home at 6 o'clock, so mm -hmm. we can do evening prayer. And when the children are around, um, they join us, mm -hmm. which I really like. But morning prayer, uh, she gets up at 5 o'clock to be able to do her ablutions, say her prayers, mm -hmm. have breakfast, and get off to school. Mm -hmm. She's generally there about 6.45. Mm -hmm. uh, my morning is more flexible, so mm -hmm. we're saying I'm on, my, on our own. Um, so I, you did, you're doing that dance. Of what does our schedule allow, and when can we do this? And you're, mm -hmm. sounds like you're, you're kind of on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a seasonal basis, finding that time when you all can, can do it. Yeah. And then if you can't get together, you're making that point individually. And we share the same prayer list. So okay. on my um, on our phones we have a, a prayer list and that's so we add to it and subtract from it uh -huh. together so that we're praying for the same you know we, we're together and praying to the same things. Okay. Each other. And uh, you grab your phone when you uh, look for that so are you using your phone for uh, the daily office. Do when you, I travel, I use my off? iPad because okay. it's it's too small for me. So it's the the ACNA for the the new Book of Common Prayer. Correct. Uh, so you're using that on your iPad. And I'm sorry. Then what else do you use besides that? Oh, iPad? when I'm home, I have I use the the books. Now I was really happy to come home with 
with the new prayer book from convention or from mm -hmm. assembly and it it's a really good feeling book good it's heavy good um there's a there's a, a different feel to it than than the old 79 in between now what we've used for the last since 2006 is the anglican prayer an anglican prayer book that mm -hmm. the uh, amia put out mm -hmm. um which is essentially the 28 was a 28 morning and evening prayer in Compline. Mm -hmm. I really like that. It was very thin and very uh, mm -hmm. portable. And then we used the, that uses the 1662 lectionary. Mm -hmm. I really in, enjoyed that. Um, but now I like, I like having the ACNA prayer book. I like yeah. having it on the, on the uh, website that I can go to, the Jeremy, and then having it um, now in the mm -hmm. physical form. And, and that's something that we'll uh, link on the YouTube um, page and, and probably again in our weekly email um, when we put this video out as the, I say, Legereme. What, what, how, do you, how did you pronounce it? Le Legereme. Legereme. I, I don't know what that means or where it, that... Uh, it means read me. Oh. It's Latin for read me. Oh, thank you. It's a really nice website with the calendar and there's links to all of the readings and... Mm -hmm. So I just, I really... Uh, I really like that, Bishop. You, you've used so many different tools, so many different books, uh, you know, using your phone and using your iPad and, uh, you know, constantly working to find that time in your schedule uh, so that you can, you can say the, the offices, um, the morning prayer and evening prayer and, and Compline. Um, I, mean, I mean, right now for you, you know, in this season of your life, I mean, what... You're saying, you know, confession is really important. Um, you know, the lectionary is really important. I mean, what's your, what, what's the thing you think that you're most passionate about, about uh, daily prayer? What's the thing that just grips your, your heart the most about it? It's just that intentional time with the Lord. Um, and, of course, I receive so much more out of it than, like everything, that, that we put in. Not to say that it's not sometimes a burden and... Or that, you know, there aren't days that I will miss if I, mm -hmm. something happens, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't beat myself up over it. Although because the, the lessons are um, continuous, um, I'll then have to go back and read to, to make sure I, I caught up. Um, so that's, that requires it. And then, and then um, we'll use on the Legerme app, you can have the lessons read um, out through the ESV Bible. I don't know the specific app for it, but you push a button and it's read. So Florence and I will sometimes in the car, obviously you, know, you don't want to drive and read at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, but we have most of the prayers memorized. You don't want to drive No, you don't want to drive and read at the same time. But we'll be able to hit that button and listen to the scripture uh, read. And then with um, Trinity Mission, um, it's a podcast, and, and they'll actually read the prayers, so we'll use that, that app, uh, especially if we're in the car driving. So, uh, spending time with the Lord. It's time that you're setting aside to be with Jesus. And it's the time that I feel like He speaks to me. Not that He doesn't speak to me at other times, but when you're intentionally listening, um, almost always my sermon ideas come during that not necessarily when I'm doing the prep it's when I'm in the morning when I'm praying about it um, I'll be thinking well what am I going to do about X Y or Z and the thought pops in my head and, um, that's that really important time thank you Bishop mm -hmm. blessings thanks bless blessings on you